good morning i am soumya shree b assistant professor maharaja institute of technology mysore this time i am handling a subject titled digital image processing and the course code of this subject is 17 ec 72 and the cie marks of this course is 40 marks and ace marks is for 60 so now the learning objectives of this digital image processing are to understand the fundamentals of digital image processing to understand image transforms image restorations and various image enhancement techniques used in digital image processing to understand morphological operations and segmentation techniques used in digital image processing now let us take a look on the overview of the syllabus so this syllabus includes five modules so the first module is about digital image fundamentals so in this particular module we discuss various fundamental concepts of digital image processing like origin and history of digital image processing and examples of fields that use digital image processing and the components required in image processing systems sampling and quantization and image acquisition using sensors all that are discussed under this module so next module module 2 is about spatial and frequency domain so here in this we discuss various filters in spatial domain as well in frequency domain next is module 3 this includes restoration so here in this module we discuss various filters which removes noise and restores the images so next is module 4 this includes color image processing so here in this we discuss color modules pseudo color image processing and next is wavelets so this is for multi resolution expansion and next here next is morphological image processing so here in this we discuss various algorithms that performs morphological operations and next the last module module 5 is all about segmentation so here in this we discuss different type of segmentation techniques like region based segmentation and object based segmentation all that next is the representation and description of objects in the images so all these topics are covered under this syllabus so now let me start with module 1 in module 1 we will study some fundamental concepts of digital image processing so the title of module 1 is Digi digital image fundamentals and like what am i covering in this session in today's class what is a digital image what is digital image processing the history of digital image processing examples of fields that use digital image processing key stages in digital image processing one one picture is worth more than 10000 words this means an image conveys more information which cannot be described in words at all this is true to an extent and this is the importance of images now we know that this particular subject talks about digital image processing that means here there are three words so in that i'll pick up the middle word that is image so before understanding what is a digital image it is better to understand what is an image an image is the projection of 3d scenes on 2d plane is nothing but an image so now look at this picture so this is the 3d scene okay so whenever a light source is incident or illuminated on this 3d scene this element will 
reflect a portion of the incident light and this reflected light or reflected energy is collected by this imaging system and this imaging system might be a digital camera or whatever it is and this imaging system in turn produces the received waves on a 2D plane forming an image. So the projection of 3D scenes on 2D plane is nothing but an image. So, in this world, everything is in analog form. The three-dimensional picture, images, what all we see is in analog form, right? So, presenting these 3D scenes, which are in analog form, on 2D plane forms an image, okay? So, what is the definition for this image? So, an image can be defined as a two-dimensional function f of x comma y, where x and y are spatial coordinates or spatial coordinates and the amplitude f at any pair of coordinates x comma y gives the intensity level or gray level of the image at that particular point. So this is called as the amplitude or intensity. So these images can be further classified into two types. So one is analog image and digital image. When do we say an image, an analog image and a digital image? Now, if the values of x, y and f has the continuous range of values, we say such an image, an analog image. A good example for this is the reproduction of scenes on the screen of CRT monitors is an example of analog image. Next is digital image. So what is a digital image? When the values of x, y and the amplitude f are all finite and discrete quantities, we say such an image a digital image. Okay? And these digital images are indeed advantageous compared to analog images. Okay? So what are the advantages of these digital images? First thing is the fast processing. And next is the digital images are cost effective and they an effective storage and efficient transmission. And next the scope for versatile image manipulation. So all these are the advantages of digital images. And the disadvantages of digital images are that it requires fast processors for processing of these images. And it requires very high storage space whenever you are dealing with high quality images. For, for storing the images and for transmission of images you require, for storing of images we require very high memory and for transmission of these images we require good bandwidth. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of digital images. So now we learned what is an image and what is a digital image. So we understood this. Also the digital image is composed of a finite number of elements each of which has a particular location and value. These elements are called as picture elements, image elements, pels and pixels. The most widely used term is the pixel. Okay. And look at this picture here. This is an example which I have considered to show you the representation of pixels. So now here the last image is the magnified version of the D's ear. Now here the element which is in red color which is marked in red color represents a pixel and these pixels will be having constant intensity values. 
So this is all about digital images. Next is what is digital image processing? So now we understood what is digital image. Next is digital image processing. So manipulation of digital images using digital computers for representing in suitable form is nothing but digital image processing. And digital image processing focuses on two major tasks. The first is the improvement of pictorial information for human interpretation. And the next is processing of image data for storage and transmission and representation for autonomous machine perception. So these are the two major tasks involved with digital image processing. And some of the typical operations involved in digital image processing are contrast enhancement, removal of blur from an image and smooth out graininess, speckle or noise from the image, magnify, minify or rotating an image, geometric corrections and image compression for storage and transmission. The image processing can be broken up into three processes. The first is mid-level process, second, sorry, the first is low level process, second is mid level process and third is high level process. So low level process is characterized by the fact that the input and outputs are represented by images and the low level process deals with pre-processing operations like noise removal, image sharpening, etc. And next is the mid-level process. Here this is characterized by image as its input and attributes as its output. Now this deals with object recognition and segmentations. Next is the high-level process. This is characterized by the attributes as its input and understanding as its output. A good example for this is scene understanding autonomous navigation. So whereas here in this course we stop here. That means this course includes low level process and mid level process. Okay. Next is the history of digital image processing. Early in 1920s, the first application of digital images was in the newspaper industry. So with the introduction of Bardline cable picture transmission system, the first digital image was transmitted between London and New York by submarine cable. And these images were coded using five tones, that means five discrete intensity levels for transmitting through the cable. And at the receiving end, they were reconstructed back by using telegraph printers. So this is the image of five tone digital image which was transmitted between London and New York. So this has five discrete intensity levels. Next in mid to late 1920s with the improvement of Botland cable picture transmission system, the image qualities were also improved from five tone to 15 tones. That is from five intensity levels to 15 intensity levels. Now this is the image improvised image with the, inter with the improvement of Bartlein system and this image has 15 tones that is 15 discrete intensity levels okay and these images were processed using photographic techniques. Though this Bartlein cable system used digital images these images were not processed because the computers were not involved as they were not invented by that time. So the history of digital image processing is intimately tied to the development of digital computer. So now let us see how these digital computers were developed over the decades. In 1940s, the introduction of John von Neumann two key concepts was the first stepping stone towards the development of digital images. Next, in 1948, Introduction of transistors at Bell Laboratories in 1950s to 60s, the development of high level languages like Fortran and COBOL and in 1958, invention of ICs at Texas Instruments in early 1960s, the development of OS, 
early in 1970s the development of the microprocessor next in 1981 the introduction of personal computers by IBM and late from 1970s to till today the progressive miniaturization of components from large scale integration to very large scale integration up to ultra large scale integration. So all these contributed towards the development of digital computers which in turn, in turn contributed towards the development of digital image processing. So next in 1960s with the improvement of computing technology the quality of digital images were enhanced were improved. So the first application was by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California in 1964. So they used computing technology in order to improve the quality of the image captured by Ranger 7 probe just 17 minutes before impacting on the lunar surface. So this is the image of the moon which is captured by Ranger 7 probe and this the quality of this image was improved by using computing technology by Jet Propulsion Laboratory. <coughs> Next in 1970s, in parallel with space applications, the digital image processing was also used in medical applications, astronomy, remote sensing, as well uh, it was also used in um, Mm, industries all that. So in 1979 Sir Godfrey N and Professor Alan M shared Nobel Prize for inventing computerized axial tomography. So here this is the computerized axial tomography image. This produces the cross-sectional image slices of 3D objects and these objects might be the human body or any other thing and the approach is like this. So in this computerized axial tomography here you have x-ray sources concentric with the ring configuration and whenever the object which we need to image is placed inside this ring then the x-rays are emitted from the x-ray source these x-rays passes through this particular object and these emitted x-rays from the object is collected by the sensors or detectors which are at the opposite end and these detected rays are used for the construction of cross-sectional image slices of 3D objects. So this is the typical head slice scan image which is constructed using computerized axial tomography. Next from 1980s to till today the use of digital image processing techniques has exploded in almost all areas in almost all fields. So uh, some of the fields are image enhancement and restoration and artistic effects, medical visualization, industrial inspection, law enforcement, human computer interfaces. So, this is all about the history of digital image processing. So in my next session, I'll be continuing with examples of fields that use digital image processing. Thank you.